Welcome to, This Cruel World. In these videos, we will be going through victims that had unfortunately crossed paths with Jeffrey Dahmer. If you haven't done so already, please consider watching Dahmer's other victims linked at the end of this video. This is Ernest Miller and he was Jeffrey Dahmer's eighth victim. Miller, also known as Ronald Marquez Miller, was born on May 5, 1967. He was living in Chicago and working as a busboy in a downtown hotel. He was only 22 years old and had dreams of becoming a professional dancer. According to Miller's Aunt Vivian, he was a talented dancer. He was singing and performing when he was young and used to sing at church. Miller graduated from Milwaukee High School of the Arts at West Division. He was just about to start classes at Roosevelt, a college for the arts, in Chicago. As seen on WISN 12 News, a former teacher recalls Miller's time in high school. What was unique about Milwaukee High School of the Arts was the tremendous diversity of the school that, that just happened naturally. And um, the students um, came from all walks of life. David knew Anthony Sears, Curtis Strotter, and Ernest Miller. He says Miller had a bright future. He was such a gifted dancer, an amazing vocalist, and he just started uh, putting his foot in the pool of acting. And so he was truly a triple threat. So um, that year, his senior year, he, um, he didn't find out until the end of the year that he got accepted into Roosevelt in Chicago. That was the last I heard of Ernest. And then that summer, um, I saw him on the news as one of the victims. Miller was in Milwaukee visiting his family during the weekend he tragically lost his life. During Dahmer's interview with the FBI after his arrest, he said the evening that he met Miller was pure coincidence. Dahmer had spent the earlier portion of that night hunting for his next victim, but did not find anyone of interest. Just as he decided to go to the bookstore to look at some adult magazines, he saw Miller walking out of the same bookstore located at North 27th Street on September 2, 1990. Like with his other victims, Dahmer was able to entice Miller to his apartment with the offer of money. According to Dahmer, he felt that he did not use enough sleeping pills to incapacitate Miller. Instead of strangling him, he used a large hunting knife to slice Miller's throat once he had dozed off. After Miller bled out, Dahmer then dissected his lifeless body to save Miller's biceps, heart, and flesh from his legs in the freezer to later consume. He kept the skull after he painted and coated it with a layer of enamel. He also kept Miller's skeleton as a memento after soaking it in bleach, which resulted in a big clean skeleton, according to Dahmer during the interview. Stanley Miller who was Ernest's uncle said, it's hard for us. Because, when we last saw Ernest, he was so full of life, and when we went to the coroner's office there was nothing but a skeleton, as reported by, the Washington Post. Please like and subscribe to our channel as we will continue to go through each of Jeffrey Dahmer's victims in the upcoming videos.